Hey everyone, good to see you. This video is an unboxing video, but not a product unboxing video or a product review video or anything of the sort. Rather, I am going to be unboxing something that I am feeling very anxious about. So anxious, in fact, that this box arrived on my doorstep almost a week ago and I have yet to open it. It's just been sitting over there next to my desk for a number of days now waiting for me uh, to crack it open and to take a look at what's inside. So why am I so stressed? Well, because what's inside this box is the largest photography print I have ever made. This print is 45 inches by 30 inches, which is nearly three feet by four feet. I mean, that's a pretty big print, at least to me it is. Largest prints I've ever made have always been uh, like 13 by 19, which I think is A3 plus because that's what the Canon Pro 10 can print and I have a Canon Pro 10 printer. Maybe if I had one of those big fancy Canon Pro 1000 printers, I could be, I think they can do 18 by 24 poster size. Maybe someday I have the, uh, the large 45 by 30 print in here, but there's also some other smaller prints in here as well that are test prints. These are smaller prints that, uh, have watermarks on them and they're much, much cheaper. Like they're like a third of the cost of what the print would normally cost of what they would normally charge you. And uh, then you're able to see, you know, whether it's going to work, whether you like how it looks on paper and whether you want to proceed and maybe get a larger print. So I have some smaller ones in here and we're going to open up this box. And we're going to take a look at some of those test prints and then we're going to get to the main event and look at the 45 by 30 and see how it turned out. Oh man, my heart is like racing right now, looking at this. Um, damn, okay. Wow, this is, this is pretty wild. So something I was really worried about with this image, I, um, this was shot using a DJI Air 2S drone, which obviously is not the most high resolution camera in the world. And the DNG RAW file was converted using DxO Pure RAW because I think the the, uh, the lens profile corrections in that software are really, really good, especially with drone files for fixing vignette, for fixing distortion and for bringing out detail and for just making a better image. It does you know, just, just such a good job with, uh, with drone images. The only problem with DxO Pure Raw though, is that I do feel like it has a tendency to over sharpen images. And with an image like this, when I ran it through DxO Pure Raw and I looked at the result, I was getting some white uh, halos around the edge of the mountain here. So what I ended up doing was I converted the DNG using Pure Raw and then I processed the DNG, you know, uh, did my color grading, did all that work, then upscaled it using uh, Gigapixel AI. And then I opened up that final image in Photoshop and then went through and fixed all of the white halos around this edge, around the edge of the mountain up here. And it definitely took a while. And because I knew this was going to be big and I had to, and I had to get it right. And looking at this now, there is no sharpening halo of any kind around this. It looks correct. Like it, it looks exactly as it should be. It sh does not look over sharpened. You can kind of tell by looking at some of the detail elsewhere that it, uh, that it has been upscaled from a lower resolution uh, uh, source. I mean, you can tell that everything's been kind of interpolated. And, but when you look at it from like four or five feet away, you don't notice it. You, you really do not notice those things. People are not gonna be sitting in front of the print like this. I mean, it's going to be on the other side of a room on a wall or something. And you're, you're not even gonna be getting, you know, you're not gonna be getting your nose up in it. Only I would probably be doing that. Nobody else would. I mean, I remember when I was out there and I took this image and I remember I was kind of like driving around the corner here and I was coming around this corner and the light was coming over this way and it was hitting the side of this mountain here. And there was just something about the expansiveness of the, of this volcanic landscape out there in the highlands of Iceland. And it was, 
this moment that I just remember it, 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 it just literally stopped me in my tracks when I saw this. And I just thought, I've got to photograph this. Like, this is amazing. And the only way to really, you know, get this sense of scale was to do it with a drone. Because if you were low to the ground with a tripod, well, you'd be kind of like looking across the, you know, the, the horizon this way, and the ground would be flat in front of you. And then you just see this mountain pop up at the end. Whereas with this, if you get some height off the ground, then you have a much more dramatic uh, kind of like uh, angle into the mountain here, as opposed to looking at it flat across. One of the challenges that I that I set for myself and something that I wanted to do was, you know, not to try and not spend all my time focusing on or photographing the, the obvious things, to get out and to take some chances and to find landscapes and subjects and compositions that haven't been seen before, you know, something that I could photograph that would feel like my photograph and not like a, an image created by, um, by someone else. So in general, I mean, yeah, I mean, I'm, I'm pretty pleased. I mean, this paper is, this paper is beautiful. I mean, it has kind of like a nice soft, uh, matte finish to it. Feels just really, really nice. And it's not too glossy. And um, yeah, I think I'm pretty happy with this. Okay, so let's take a look at these other test prints here. This should be really interesting. Um, again, these are test prints, which means these are not like final prints, but rather prints that have um, watermarks on them. Uh, this is a, uh, another drone photograph. This is of a, a, uh, an estuary in Iceland from when I was there. Pretty good. I feel like the, the contrast may be a little low. It's not quite popping as much as I, as I thought it would. And I think maybe part of the reason for that is the, uh, the matte finish of this. You know, and, and the colors just look a little more muted than I was expecting. And maybe, I don't know, maybe this is one of those images that needs uh, a semi-gloss. Uh, maybe even some type of acrylic glass in front of it, because on this particular fine art paper, I think it looks okay, but it's uh, it's not quite what not quite what I was expecting. But that's okay. Oh, all right. Well, this one similar to the other one, but this one this one definitely looks different. This one has a little more vibrancy, I think. Well, I don't know. It's weird. Maybe maybe it's about the same, but. I think this looks really nice. Again, this has been upscaled using Gigapixel uh, AI from from a lower res drone photo. But yeah, pretty happy with that. Um, honestly, I can't even remember what the what the next image is, which what the other one is that I had test printed. And oh yeah, okay, now I know what this is. Another estuary image uh, from Iceland. And um, wow, okay. Jeez. <laughs> wow. The, um, the color is pretty amazing. The, the purple and the lavender and the cyan. Like you have the cyan down here and then the mix of all the purples and the lavender colors. I would love to get uh, some input from anyone, by the way. If anyone else is watching this video and uh, has some experience making prints and would, uh, would care to comment, this again almost feels like the kind of image that that may work better um, under acrylic, maybe on a semi gloss, in order to bring more of that tonality, more of that color richness out of the out of the colors here. I'm pretty happy with these. I mean, this is this is pretty awesome. In order to see these images in print form before committing to them. So yeah, I, I hope you enjoyed the video. This video has been just totally off the cuff. I just sat down, turned on the camera, hit record and thought, all right, I'm going to make a video. I'm going to, you know, break open the box. I'm going to pull out the prints and we're going to just do it. We're going <laughs> to take a look at everything and uh, document the moment, document the experience and share with you what it's like to you know, make prints this large and to, and to make some big prints and to, and, uh, and, and, and to share the experience of what it's like to you know, see your work and see your photography printed in this type of format, which is something else completely different. It's just so, so amazing after, you know, you spend so much time looking at your images in Photoshop or Lightroom or Capture One or whatever. Maybe you look at them as like little thumbnails on, on Instagram or you're 
you know, website or whatever, this is where it's at. I mean, this is incredible when you're able to see your photography this way. And yeah, I mean, it's, it's a fairly expensive uh, thing to be doing, but nothing compares to it. It's pretty amazing. Pretty, pretty awesome. Anyway, hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for being here. I'll see you next time.